Hi friends, welcome to the channel. It's Link here with Paint on Plastic. And uh, how nostalgic is this? The very first unboxing I did was with a, uh, a Mark 44 Ammonite. So today I would like to wrap it up with the existing series and give you a very quick talk about these other versions and uh, also show you inside what you'll get in a regular version of one of these kits and then a quick overview of the different parts that are available and what basically the different versions will look like. Uh, just really quick while I've got the box tops out, uh, questions will come up, what are the differences between these? This is of course the prototype version and this is the production value. Production value, and this is the production type. So main differences are, this one has the prototype long weapon with no shield. This one of course has been stubbed down and has a different muzzle. It looks like an anti-flash hider. Um, there are some different details here on the top, just behind the cockpit area and uh, where the hatch closes up here. You can see the differences there. Also, uh, in my version of the prototype, I have uh, customized it further with some very subtle detailed changes. And um, there will be close-up pictures, etc., of that available in the book that's coming out that I just did not mention. Okay, let's look inside. The Mark 44 series uh, appear in the Robot Battle 5, the uh, Blackman. Uh, series, Machine and Krieger Blackman. They've put them together. The original series was called Blackman, and uh, it appears in the timeline after the SF Sunday, uh, or 3D as we say in English, but the actual Japanese name is SF Sunday series. So all of the kits follow a simple uh, methodology. They're, they're all from Hasegawa. Now, all of these are available. They'll just be, there's a current uh, slowdown because of, you know, the pandemic. Uh, people have bought a lot of them. Uh, also, uh, one of the issues is that um, some of the toolings have gotten a little old, so they're going through a repair cycle just now. So don't worry, these are all regular stock and will be available uh, either online from uh, Japan resellers or from your local hobby store who has a connection to the uh, Hasegawa distributor in your country, so you can order them from them. But I'll just have a quick look through inside with you. They will come with a top of a box. The top of the box is, now this is a gag, okay? This is a gag, don't lose it, but the top of the box, my friends and I were laughing about this. Whenever you watch uh, unboxing videos, it has a top of the box, which is, it's removed from the top. I know, it's stupid. We're modelers, we like stupid things. Come on, we're all the same. Now, I wanna show you this, yep. So, they'll also have additional artwork and suggested schemes on the back, which is, which is pretty nifty. Damn box. Cool. This one, white knight, comes in white. Boom, boom. And it's nice and crinkly. They'll also have uh, the, uh, the cables, the hydraulic cables, and the PC parts on a separate runner in here. They'll come with a... Now, we call, in the Japan studio, we call these pentokado. Pentokado, this. So um, I've heard them called camo cards, uh, all kinds of things outside. It really doesn't matter. We're just happy that you like them and they're super cool and popular. So all good, all good. But paint card and it will show you where to put your water slides and some suggested um, schemes. Man, how cool is this one? And that would be so hard to paint, but it looks really awesome. Uh, and then the instructions, they'll have them. They're, these are pretty good for Hasego instructions. They're actually quite good. And um, you'll start to see little parts and sections in here which will uh, give you choices between, say, the prototype and the production type versions. And lastly, they'll give you the very high quality uh, water slides. Oh boy, these are just lovely, aren't they? And uh, you can see that the entirety of the Robot Battle Blackman series so far has quite a decided color palette. They'll have the black and white markings and then the it's like a deep salmon, isn't it? It's Mr. Color Brown with a touch of off-white added if you were going to make it yourself. Uh, and if you ever wonder what these little things are, they're Ammonites, and that's what the name came from due to uh, yokoyama san thought that his creation looked a little bit like those little critters. The space versions, uh, and much like the ground versions, they, they have a lot of parts in common, but they'll have some special ones. So instead of the ground pilot, you get the space pilot. Sorry, shooting on a white table was a bad idea. The lighting's terrible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. hmm. Now, these parts are for putting the, the leg struts together, so they're, they're unique to the spacesuits. That's why there's two for the two legs. 
We get the main hull sections, which are common to all of the kits and variants. Uh, another common part for the, the basic uh, inserts, hands and uh, manipulators and uh, face of the kit. Legs and arms, helmet, uh, inners, lower legs and um, additional rivet heads. And this is the space part sprue, including the very interesting uh, sections that cover up the life support systems, uh, different nacelles, I guess we could call them. Uh, I actually don't know how that's pronounced. I've never heard it said in English. Gun parts, gun shield, feet, etc. This runner is unique to the space suits. However, I'm going to show you one more. Okay, now if you can only get one, try to grab the Axe Knights that are out there. This is a recent release. It actually came out this year, 2020. And the reason I suggest it is because it contains all of the runners the sprues made thus far. So, although it's for a ground suit, because it has some parts in common, you also get the same space runner. So yes, you could make a space variant from this kit. Additionally, other weapons are included. The um, smart gun type, which I'll show you just in a moment how it makes the different variant, and the bazooka. The bazooka is for another variant as well. Now those additional parts come in handy for here we have the, uh, the various versions. So the smart gun equipment type is basically the one that holds the, uh, the smart gun, the separate rifle attachment. And that's the one that we generally call the Mark 44 Ammo Knight, the basic variant. Then the Axe Knight has this one where it's an arm replacement. Now one of the cool things with the fixed armament of course is that you can swap it between having it uh, mounted on the left arm or on the right arm. I mean, if your collection is really that crazy big, thank you very much. Now the Hammer Knight variant, uh, which I don't have a box to show you, I'm sorry, uh, is basically the same. It's a ground version of say the regular Ammo Knight or the Axe Knight version, and you can make it from the Axe Knight kit by making the bazooka for its right hand as shown here. So they're the basic versions. You've got basic Ammo Knight, Hammer Knight, Axe Knight, uh, White Knight prototype and White Knight, all of which can be made from this Axe Knight kit, which is, uh, which is very useful. Now, the reason they've all gone unavailable is, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they uh, are undergoing some, uh, some tool cleaning. Uh, as kits are, um, it's an industrial factory type process, so as they're belting out the kits, they do suffer a little bit of damage over time, so they need to take them offline and uh, do some maintenance to them. Now, you're not hearing this from me. I've not seen prototype photos of it directly from K-Sensei. Um, there's not a new version coming of the Ammonite. There's not, there's not. Just between you, me, the internet, YouTube, all of us, there's no more versions coming of the Ammonite next year. There's not. I hope I was clear on that. Uh, and also to celebrate that, uh, Max Watanabe-sensei and I have gotten together and we're doing a Mark 44 guide. Uh, and that will be a publication that is available from the Paint on Plastic website, paintonplastic.com. So do check it out. I'll also put up a blog post for you. Uh, I'll put in some smaller photos of say some of the camo cards uh, and some of these instructions, just so you can get an idea of which one of the kits you might like to purchase. They're gonna be difficult to get now, but I'm making this video for you in, pre in preparation for next year. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. I can't even keep up with what I'm thinking. So this is for you for next year, and hopefully they make it in, in time so that you can, uh, you can get one that you like for the Paint on Plastic uh, competition. Gratuitous video ensues. So here are the versions I've made for you so far. Uh, one of the first ones you would have seen on my channel was this chap, the Mark 44 Ammonite basic version. Uh, and you might have seen this one before. I've got a bunch of tutorials for you on my YouTube to, uh, to check out. Then this is the most recent one, is the White Knight prototype. And uh, the concept was quite different here. This one is, of course is a ground pounder and I went with a very heavy texture uh, because that suits things from the Blackman universe. And this one is quite smooth and I've gone for a space white uh, but with panel effects theme. And it's reasonably lightly weathered. It's just the look I was going for. And uh, next this is the Axe Knight with a more uh, complicated. It's got three different flavors of texture on it and uh, I've removed the hover slippers. So this one is going to be another uh, ground pounding suit and it will be heavily weathered. This one I'm going to be uh, hand painting with uh, water-based acrylics and that one should be interesting for you too. And lastly the one I showed you just a moment ago, that's the, uh, the White Knight. I'm going to be doing a variation 
on my own prototype version in the middle. So this one is early in its career, and then the next one is going to be late in its career, just for a little bit of fun, and I enjoy doing silly narratives like that. Thanks a bunch, guys. I really hope this video was good for you. Please like and subscribe and do all the youtube -y things. I also want to say a very heartfelt thank you. During this really tough year, so many of my wonderful fans have stuck by me, and I sincerely appreciate you wonderful people for allowing me to continue with this. Thanks a bunch, guys. More soon. Bye.